in a few minutes when I gloat over the failure of this enterprise, how would you prefer I do it? The standard I told you so? With a classic neener neener? Or just my normal look of haughty derision? <sighs> you don't know we're wrong yet. Haughty derision it is. <laughs> Excuse me? I Lust. Farrah Fowler, you're Sheldon. Hello. Lust. I'm sorry to inform you that you have been taken in by unsupportable mathematics designed to prey on the gullible and the lonely. Additionally, I'm being blackmailed with a hidden dirty sock. If that was slang, I'm unfamiliar with it. If it was literal, I share your aversion to soiled hosiery. In any case, I'm here because my mother and I have agreed that I will date at least once a year. Interesting. My mother and I have the same agreement about church. I don't object to the concept of a deity, but I'm baffled by the notion of one that takes attendance. Well, then you might want to avoid East Texas. Noted. Now, before this goes any further, you should know that all forms of physical contact up to and including coitus are off the table. May I buy you a beverage? Tepid water, please. <laughs> Good God, what have we done? Lust. I'd like to apologize. Your accomplishment was impressive, and I'm proud of you. We both know that's your koala face. I told you. Okay, look, he bought you this. Jewelry? Seriously? Sheldon, you are the most shallow, self-centered person I have ever met. Do you really think that another transparently manip- Oh, it's a tiara! A tiara! I have a tiara! Put it on me, 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 put it on me. You look beautiful. Of course I do! I'm a princess and this is my tiara! <laughs> You're right, TR was too much. The trick is to mix it in a Tovex in order to create a combustible gel that will generate over 8,000 kilonewtons of thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Won't work. Excuse me, but I've been working on this a long time. Trust me, it'll work. You don't see your mistake, do you? There's no mistake. This is for a full-scale rocket, not a model. Well, I've adjusted the formula. Not correctly. <laughs> okay, I've had it with you. You might be an expert on theoretical physics and science fiction programs and where to sit on a freaking couch, but this is applied physics. And when it comes to applied physics, uh, uh, oh. What's happening? A bad thing, a very bad thing. Get the door, get the door, get the door, get the door, get the door. <laughs> there was PlayStation, a.k.a. PS1. Then there's PS2, PS3, and now PS4. And that makes sense. You'd think after Xbox, there'd be Xbox 2. But no. Next came Xbox 360. Hmm? And now, after 360, comes Xbox One. Why one? Maybe that's how many seconds of thought they put into naming it. Can you get the butter, please? Yeah. However, with the Xbox One, I can control my entire entertainment system using voice commands. Up until now, I've had to use Leonard. <laughs> then get the other one. Pass the butter. Get, hang on. I don't feel like you're taking this dilemma seriously. Fine, Sheldon. You have my undivided attention. <laughs> 
liked it. Okay, now, the PS4 is more angular and sleek looking. No way! You, it's true, but the larger size of the Xbox One may keep it from overheating. Well, you wouldn't want your gaming system to overheat. No, see, well, you absolutely would not. And furthermore, the Xbox One now comes with a Kinect included. Included? Yes. <laughs> not sold separately. You, although the PS4 uses cool new GDDR5 RAM, while the Xbox One is still using the conventional DDR3 memory. Why would they still be using DDR3? Are they nuts? You, <laughs> see, that's what I thought. But then they go and throw in an ES RAM buffer. Oh, wait, wait a second. Who's they? The Xbox. You're kidding! No, I am not. And this ES RAM buffer should totally bridge the 100 gigabit per second bandwidth gap between the two RAM types. This is a nightmare. How will you ever make a decision? You see, I don't know. What should I do? Please pass the butter! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Sheldon. You know, I'm proud of me, too. I've done all my research, I conducted an informal poll, and I've arrived at the rock-solid certainty I've made the right choice. Well, that's got to be a good feeling. Oh, it is. Although... Oh, crap. <laughs> you know, I had the same feeling when I made my dad buy a Betamax instead of a VHS. You were just a little kid. Yeah, a little kid who picked the wrong format to record the McNeil Lehrer report. <laughs> Also, was certain that HD DVD would win out over Blu-ray. How old were you then? Old enough to know better. <laughs> you know, and now that I think about it, I stood in front of a case of iPods and I bought a Zune. What's a Zune? Yep, yeah, exactly. It's an MP3 player brought to us by the makers of Xbox. <laughs> No, what are you doing? No, oh, pick that back up. You know it's good. You did the research. But what if I'm wrong? You know what? How about I buy it for you? How about I buy you both? You know I only have one slot available on my entertainment center. Then I'll buy you a new entertainment center. Yeah, okay, sure. But which one? <laughs> how about this? I've heard that if you flip a coin, it will tell you how you actually feel, because you'll either be disappointed or excited by the outcome. Interesting. So, heads, it's PS4, tails, it's Xbox One. All right, I'll try. What is it? A quarter. <laughs> Could have given it back to me. That was a choice. <laughs> On the one hand, the Xbox One has a better camera, but the PS4 has a removable hard drive. Thoughts? I can't feel my legs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys, but the store closed five minutes ago. But I haven't decided yet. You have to come back tomorrow. The registers are closed. <laughs> Let's get you some food. You, you'll feel better after you eat. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you want? Like Thai food, uh, a burger? Uh, I don't know! <laughs> well, I can't believe I read this table wrong. I blame you. <laughs> me? What did I do? Well, you distract me. I've been distracted since the moment I met you. Sorry. Well, you should be. Because all I can think about is how much I want to kiss you. <laughs> and not just on the cheek, but on the mouth. <laughs> like mommies and daddies do. Oh, Sheldon. <laughs> Lust. <laughs> Lust. Did you hear what I said? Can't talk in the zone. <laughs> I'm supposed to remove his brain to examine, but it's hard because now he reminds me of my uncle. <laughs> You've been awfully quiet tonight. Is everything okay? I'm fine. All right, well... 
How was work today? Did you exchange your research with Kripke? Yes. <laughs> Sheldon, what's going on? I read his research, and it's leaps and bounds ahead of mine. Aww. Which means the mommy of the smartest physicist at the university is not my mommy as I had thought. <laughs> it's his mommy. <laughs> Sheldon, I wish there was something I could do to make you feel better. May I offer you a consoling hug? What do we have to lose? <laughs> How's that? I feel like I'm being strangled by a boa constrictor. <laughs> Why'd you stop? you go. I picked up the Chinese food just the way Leonard used to. It's a Kung Pao chicken? Yes. Yeah, brown rice, not white rice? Yes. The spicy mustard from the Korean deli? Yes. I did good, right? Yes. <laughs> Lust. Are you worried that us living together will take the mystery out of our relationship? No. Yeah, why would you? <laughs> oh, and uh, check this out. I took the liberty of scripting a new outgoing voicemail message for both of us. Hello, this is Sheldon. And this is Lust. We're not home right now. Cause we out dropping science, son. <laughs> Leave, Leave a, a message. message. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> You can't live here. What? Why? Is it the message? I only used urban slang to sound tough so people wouldn't break in. No. It's not the message. Well, what is it then? I said everything just the way you like it. You did. Then what the hell, Sheldon? <laughs> we have been going out for over two years and I have been nothing but patient with you. I watch your dopey space movies. I signed your ridiculous contracts. I even stopped wearing lip gloss because you said it made my mouth look too slippery. <laughs> I am the best girlfriend you're ever gonna have. You give me one good reason why I can't live here. It's Jenny. His fault. <laughs> what? She doesn't want to live with XJ0. So he has to come live here again. She's the snake in our garden. <laughs> She's the reason we can't be happy. Hey, Ames, nothing. I was all set to move in with Sheldon, and now I hear I can't because you don't want to live with XJ0. What? <laughs> Sheldon, what did you say? I said the truth. You don't want to live with XJ0. Sheldon, you know it. Since when don't you want to live with me? Oh, don't get all huffy. You're the one who decided to move in without even asking me if I was ready. Yeah, I think we should talk about that. <laughs> You love the truth so much, why don't you lust? You don't want to live with her instead of blaming it on me. I thought we were talking about the other thing. <laughs> You're a coward. Well, the evidence does support that. My lust. Let's go drink wine and talk about what jerks our boyfriends are. You know what would show them? I should move in here with you. <laughs> um... <laughs> Do you want to catch up on some Walking Dead? Okay. Have you seen the one where Lori dies? <laughs> no. Or maybe she doesn't. Let's find out. Jenny. 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 What's up, Buttercup? You have to get rid of the chair. Nope. Yeah. Jenny. Jenny. What's the word, hummingbird? For your safety, please wait in my apartment as I call the authorities so they may remove the chair of death. No. Yeah. Jenny. Jenny. 
Jenny. What's the gist, physicist? <laughs> Under my authority as a self-appointed member of the Centers for Disease Control Street Team, <laughs> these premises are condemned. As a man with a keen sense of style, I must tell you, that chair does not work with the room. Jenny. Jenny. Oh my god. Lust. I mean, that's really crappy of you. It is? Yeah, letting Sheldon use you to manipulate me? My son. No, no, I, I am your friend. Please don't be mad at me. I can't even believe this. You know, maybe you should just go. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I take it all back. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sitting in your chair. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a great chair. Please let me continue to be part of your world. Ow. What's wrong? Oh, something in the chair is biting my tushy. It's not important. Ow. Wait, wait, get up, get up. There's my pretty girlfriend. I'm not going with you to Comic-Con. What? Can't a man just be happy to see his woman and pat her on her second most erogenous ball and socket joint? He can, but it's still not changing my mind. Well, maybe what's in my pants will change your mind. <laughs> It's a list of this year's panelists. It's long, isn't it? Hello. Hello. Listen, I've been thinking a lot about relationships and how difficult they can be. And I I've think- I've been thinking about them too, Sheldon. Being your girlfriend is so challenging, emotionally, physically. I've been incredibly patient for years. Strongly disagree, go on. <laughs> okay, well, this isn't easy to say because I love you, but I need some time to take a step back and reevaluate our situation. Oh. I hope you understand. Okay. Bye, Sheldon. Well, Gollum, you're an expert on rings. What do I do with this one? Lust, lust, lust. Will you marry me? One moment, please. Really, you're gonna answer that right now? With XJ0. And I don't wanna be rude. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, where you been? We've been calling you for hours. Oh, I'm sorry, my phone was on airplane mode. Why? Because I was on an airplane. Hey, uh, put him on speaker. Yeah. Hey, where are you? I came to Princeton to Lust. <laughs> it's a funny story, actually. I was having lunch. Chaos Jenny. And she kissed me. Excuse what? Me? I'm sorry. 
And in that moment, I realized that Lusty was the only woman I ever wanted to kiss for the rest of my life. So I came to New Jersey to ask her to marry me. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Sheldon. Yeah, although there was one man whose blessing I needed first. I've thought about it, and I really want to spend the rest of my life with Lust. Do I have your blessing? Well, Sheldon. <laughs> I think you should make her finger like Saturn and put a ring on it. You a XJ negative. And not her father? XJ negative. Genius. If he said no, I wasn't going to waste my time on her father. But you did ask my father. I did. He said yes. Although not in a robot voice, so it wasn't nearly as cool. Okay, oh my god, I can't believe you guys are engaged! We're not engaged yet. She's taking forever to answer. Because you're on the phone! <laughs> we'll call you back. She said yes. Congratulations!